Hello everybody and welcome to some more GTA 5. I'm recording this fairly late from when I usually record. I usually record right when I get home from school. But, I was late from coming home from school. For reasons... Oh, I made it. For reasons involving a fight. Now! Oh, I couldn't swallow really fast. I don't make that sexual, but uh... I think I should listen to this before uh, I tell you the story. We had a deal. We had paperwork. Hey, fuck off, Johnny. Hey, you're a couple real badasses putting a beat down on an old man. Yeah, we don't take that. We have a deal hey, with them. Just about. Please get those millennial ass wipes. A pleasure. The fuck what? So anyway, like I was hey, saying, uh, I do not condone fight. fighting. But, when someone touches your girl, I guess, yes, it is kind of necessary to hold her. It, unless it's not your girl, it's just your friend. In which case, it's like, okay, I can understand that. But you don't need to take it so far as a fight. So anyway, me and my friends are after school. I do a lot of weird stuff after school, so I don't see a lot of stuff happen. But, um, I'm doing, I'm sitting there doing my normal thing, just going... You know, like that's that's how I sound after school. You, you'd know if you saw me. But uh, so after school, and they're like, "Oh, there's a fight," and I'm like, "What?" And I've only seen a. Oh, what's up, buddy? I haven't been very big on the whole fight stuff because I usually miss it all because I actually stay after school instead of uh instead of like going home or going to wherever. So I'll stay, or I'll like leave immediately, so I don't ever get to see the fights. My friend got in a fight. Hold on, I have to listen to this dialogue and then I'll continue. But you can't feel anything. Ah, uh, you're throwing me softballs. Rum runner. But, uh, speaking of accidents, those guys Oops. had one. Oh, if only we'd met 20 years ago, Michael. Maybe I wouldn't be in this mess. Yeah, you and me both, brother. Look, it's a pain, I know, but... Could you come by the studio now? I got something I'd like to show you. Okay, so anyway, like, oh, okay. Yeah, of course, I'll be right over. So anyway, like I was saying, I don't condone fighting, blah, blah, blah. I don't get to see much fights. My friend was getting in a fight. And, you know, I'm, I'm not so big on the whole bullying thing. It's, it's pretty messed up. So, uh, I usually kind of try to do what I can to stop it. And, uh... There was this dude that wanted to fight him, and his friend was holding my friend. And I was like, hey, what are you doing holding my friend? And he was like, this doesn't concern you. And I was like, he's my friend, it concerns me. And he was like, it doesn't concern you, just walk away. And I was like, no. I was like, I'm not going to walk away, that's my friend. What are, you, what are you holding him back for? If he doesn't want to fight, then don't make him fight. And then the kid... <laughs> Looks at me and he's like, just stay out of this, you're not in this. It was like a total 80s movie or something, it was really weird. So he's like, just stay out of it. And I was just like, okay. Hey, uh, Michael, what happened? It turns out, my friend has a thing where he likes to have many interactions with girls. And so uh, one day, that day being a couple days ago, Apparently, he interacted the wrong way with the girl. The girl said no. He kissed her. He said he kissed, she kissed him back. But I, I'm not sure. So, uh, the girl was, like, there. She was, like, traumatized. Which, they're like, he practically raped her. I don't like rape. I mean, obviously, whoever likes rape is, is a sicko. But, um, so, yeah. I'm, obvious. wow, that sounds weird if, if someone said that they were big on rape. But, um, so yeah, he kissed her, and then they said that that was rape. It was ridiculous. I'll continue with the story after this dialogue. Come in. Come in. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it turns out maybe I'm cut out for the movie business after all, huh? My friend, you're a sentimental thug with zero artistic training and nothing interesting to say. I would say you're overqualified. <laughs> anyway, shut up and take a look at that. Wow. Oh. 
Oh. Fucking A. Feels good, doesn't it? Feels like I finally <laughs> done something in my life. Actually done something. A movie. Welcome to show business. Nothing but make believe will ever feel quite real again. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, Michael, come on. Let me show you some rushes. I think you're gonna love it, but it'd be great to hear your notes. Hey, baby. I just wanted to tell you, I'm finally doing something with my life. I'm making a movie. A real one. Call me. So anyway, my friend kissed her. She was like, no, I don't want you to kiss me. And he was like, oh, you what? This is how they explained it. <laughs> it's that she said, I don't want to kiss you. And then he said, oh, you want to kiss me. Which my friend does not say that. So I know they were lying. But anyway, that's what he said happened. And um, and then they were like, oh, yeah. So he he practically raped her. And I was like, first of all, that's not even real. It's similar. I guess because she didn't want him to kiss her but he kissed her anyway but that's not rape rape is like rape I mean there's no other way to describe oh, man, it but uh <laughs> good god Franklin but um so he was like dude you gotta either fight me like a man or Monday uh I'm it's either you fight me or you fight the horde and it was like so weird I totally felt like it was a, I was in an 80s movie it was the weirdest thing I've ever experienced and I was backing my friend up so I was there like the whole time and uh and eventually the guy was just like okay I'm giving you one minute you make up your mind you, you either um fight me right here or you, or you get it worse on Monday and I told him I was like Dude, you don't have to fight this guy. Like, he's he, he's not scary. He, it doesn't even matter. Either, and he's like, I'm not gonna fight you. And he's like, Well, then get it worse Monday. And he just kept saying that. And the guy literally, he couldn't fight. He he just wanted to seem. He just wanted to impress the girl. I'm pretty sure. Because he just kept saying, Oh, why don't you fight me like a man? And at one point, I was like, Hey, he said that he doesn't want to fight. And he pushed me, and it was like, shut up, four eyes, because I have glasses now. I got glasses, like, before the beginning of school? So yeah, he was like, shut up, four eyes. And I was like, I looked at him, and I, I very snarkily, I uh, dipped my head down and pushed my glasses up as if I was just, like, accommodating the fact, like, yeah, I have glasses. I don't give two craps. So... Wasn't very happy about that. I'm really happy that I didn't because I probably would have gotten in a lot of trouble. But I was on a 50 50 decision where he pushed me, called me four eyes, and I said, Well, he's threatening my friend. He pushed me. I could punch him. But then the other thought in me said, Oh no, I could get in trouble. So luckily, the trouble thought. Uh, overtook the punching the kid in the face thought and uh, so yeah he pushed me and then he was like get out of here you you don't have anything to do with this and I was like kid shut up okay he's my friend I'm backing him up I'm here to make sure that he doesn't get brain damage or something and he was like whatever and then once the minute was done he was like oh so you're gonna fight me or what and then he was like I'm not gonna fight you and he's like you have one minute and that cycle basically repeated like five times. He just kept telling him, you have, uh, excuse me. He kept, he just kept saying, you have one minute. And it was, it was really stupid. But, uh, so yeah, that happened. And now I have to listen to more dialogue because Lamar is down apparently. Hey. Hey. What you doing here? I mean, I'm real glad you're here. Come here. Come I on. can't stay. What's up, babe? No, it's Lamar. What that fool want now? It's your best friend. He's your best fucking friend. For real. My best friend. My homeboy, right? My nigga. Man, fuck you. I mean, not like that, man. But no, he ain't. 
He just another nigga from the hood. Him stretching all the motherfucking clowns. All he want to do is drag a motherfucker down and live in the past. And this is the future? A big empty house with nobody who gives a fuck about you. Well, shit, it works for me. It can work for you, babe. I'm getting married, Franklin, to a doctor, not a murderer. Well, what the fuck you doing here, Tanisha? I'm worried about Lamar. You got to help him, Franklin. Man, that shit is over. Oh, I'm a legitimate Over. businessman now, sister. I'm a CEO, an investor. I'm a Illuminati. I'm a fucking moron, nigga. You a phony fuck. What? I ain't saying you gotta marry the fool. I'm saying he's about to get killed over that deal you and him put on with... Stretcher set him up. <sighs> fuck, man. My whole fucking life I've been looking after this motherfucker and paying a price afterward. Fuck. Well, at least do it one more time, Franklin, for me. For you? For you and your doctor? I love you and Lamar. We grew up together, but this life ain't for me, and you knew that. You ain't changing. I don't care how many cars you own, how many apartments you own, I don't care how many diamonds you put in your ear. It ain't for me, not done bad or done good. Babe, look, I'll change. No, you won't, and that's fair enough, but at least respect what you do, who you are. If you let that idiot die, you a bigger asshole than I thought. Boom. Look, he's going up to some sawmill near Polito Bay. Ugh, you do what you got to do. So, back to the story. About five times, he said, Hey, um, I'll give you one more chance. So he said that like five times. The kid, basically, the kid just wanted to hit him first. But I told my friend, I was like, listen... Frank, you don't have to up? fight him. Hey, man, you know that. I know that you're not situation. going to fight him. But if he hits you, then he threw the first punch. So after that, it's self-defense. So feel free to knock him out or whatever. He's like, oh, I know. Unfortunately, he didn't take care or he didn't take advantage of that. But he threw the first punch. And it was kind of like just a warning hit. Like... Uh, he kind of rushed at him, and he pushed him, an and the way that he pushed him was like the most... The oh crap, I'm not even listening. Growing it in the hills most likely, but they might be packing and shipping it out of this sawmill. I'd expect a fair few of them up there. Shit, and I'm gonna need some help. Can you tell Mike and Trevor to meet me up there? They still aren't getting along that well. Tell them it's for me, and it's serious. Thanks, Oh man. crap. Oh, I'm surprised I didn't die. But anyway, so, uh, yeah, he, he like, pushed him, and it was the weirdest push I've ever seen. It was, like, my four-year-old sister, actually, yeah, four-year-old sister, I thought she was five or four or whatever. My four-year-old sister, I've, she's pushed me better than that. He basically, like, very flimsily kind of just, like, flopped his arms on him. And then applied some force, which is technically pushing, but pushing is when you have like strength with your arms. He just like kind of flopped his arms onto his chest and pushed them. And it was so stupid. And me and my friends started laughing so hard. And then one of his friends were like, You think this is funny? And my friend Salvador was like, Oh, a little bit. And I was like, He was like, You're starting to piss me off. And I was like, Salvador, just go over there. We don't need. Two fights in a day blah blah and then the dude goes to hit him and he doesn't have like a normal fighting stance or like punching um about punching stance he has like this weird it's almost like he's doing a hammer fist in the ufc but he's standing up and doing it he obviously doesn't know how to punch anything now me personally what the heck is that that looked like a cool bike me personally, oh, I'm gonna get in your guys' shot. Me personally, I've never been in a legit fight. There was one instance where I almost got in a fight, and then the kid got scared and ran away. And then I was like, "Hey, are we gonna fight?" And he was like, "No, we were never gonna fight." Even though, like the class before. He was, like, making punch signs at me. You know, that real stereotypical way. He's like, oh, yeah, I'm going to beat you down. And I was just like, okay. Okay. And I went to the spot where we were this supposed to fight. He wasn't there. Music. I looked for him. And then he was like, oh, no, I was just kidding. So, yeah, I've never been in a real fight. I've been in a fight where I've kind of, like, just hit someone. 
and then the teacher came, so it was kind of like just a one-hit kind of fight. But uh, so yeah, so the kid hits him, and then he's just like, "Hey, stop it!" And then the kid stops, and then he's like, one of his friends is like, "Just come with us to the city." It was like this. It was like such an '80s movie again. It was so ridiculous. He was like. We're giving you two chances. Either you you get beat up now, or you or you face the horde on Monday. And he was like, "Just come to the city with us. It won't be that bad. I won't beat you up too bad." And we were like, "Michael, don't go." And he was like, "It's fine. I'll just go." And I was like, "Michael, you don't have to do this." He was like, "It's fine." So he went. Some girls came and picked him up, and then he was like, "No, I'm not gonna do it." And then the girls left, and he was like, "Okay, fine, I'll do it." So they went to the. There was like this parking lot. <laughs> it was so official, it was weird. It was like, okay, this isn't a real fight, so we'll just give you guys like a minute and a half. And I was like, okay, that's kind of weird, but okay. So my friend basically had a minute and a half to fight this guy. And uh, it was a very long and funny minute and a half. Because my friend doesn't fight people, so he just never threw a punch. And the guy that was trying to fight him didn't know how to fight, so he was just hitting like a girl. And <laughs> at the end, the guy that was trying to fight him was panting. Like, he was like, ah, okay, I think that settles it. And my friend was like, okay, yep. And it was sad. Well, cutscene. We want Lamar to be rescued, not sold to the feds. Give it a rest, asswipe. Man, what y'all two shut the fuck up? Now let's take a look at this place, man. Lester said this was some type of big weed store spot. Place is crawling with ballers, you know? Now me and you, we don't mind the old gang warfare, but suede bucks over there. Tell Trevor I said fight me. Man, I said shut up. Now I see the weed, but where the fuck is Lamar? Oh shit, there he go. Hmm. You know, tell Trevor I'm gonna be up on this hill with my rifle. Oh. I don't want to be anywhere around him when he fucks this whole thing up. Okay. Classic, classic, huh? Right He's already planning his escape. Oh fuck. Yeah, after. Okay, let's go, Trevor. Away from the fight, I run towards it. So, anyway, um, where was I? Oh yeah, he was panting, and he was like, "Okay, nothing's gonna happen Monday." And me and my friend, because at first I thought the kid could legitimately fight, so I was like, "Michael, you don't have to do this." Blah blah. And by the end of it, me, South Door, and Michael were just laughing. <laughs> it was so funny. <laughs> Come on, here's where I'm okay. making my play. I'm going right at him. Oh, right, do we all have separate? Okay. Right, <laughs> so uh, so then he's here. like, okay, and he like gives him a handshake. And I ask the girl, I'm like, all right, do you feel better now? Like, are you okay? And she's like, I don't want to talk about it. And it's like, if you didn't want him to fight, then why would you have them fight? It was stupid, whatever. So then we start walking and we're talking about the fight. And he's like, he hit really soft. And it's funny because um, my friend Michael was, uh, whatchamacallit, he didn't throw any punches because he doesn't like the fight. And so when he did, he threw like two punches and they both hit him. And then, uh, whatchamacallit, find Lamar. I don't know where he is. Can I? Okay. So, uh, so the two punches that he did th throw were kind of like, he's not used to fighting, so it was just real kind of light hits. But the kid punched a lot lighter. It was like, oh, uh, you know, you're just throwing some love taps at me. And, uh, <coughs> and then, uh, <laughs> me and my friend Salvador were thinking, we're like, that's all he threw was love taps. I don't know what he's talking about. So we left. It was hilarious. It was possibly the worst fight. And they're both real, like, kind of nerdy kids. So it was like a nerd fight. It was really funny. Give us the mousy one, uh, and we'll that's be what gone. happens at my school nerd fights. Look it up. <laughs> Another thing from it is that one of the guy that wanted to fight my friend, one of his.
friends was like, don't record it, don't record it. And immediately, like, almost everyone pulled out their phone. I didn't pull out my phone because I was ready to uh, back my friend up. But, uh, so, like, everyone pulled out their phone. And he was like, what did I just say? No one pull out their phone. I was like, dude, it's a fight. Like, no one's going to listen to you. <laughs> it was really stupid. I go to school with a bunch of weird stupid people. That's uh, basically what you can gather from the store. Oh, my oh, there's a Christmas. Trevor, I don't know why you're saying cover me. You don't. You're the person that needs the least amount of cover, with your rage ability and all that. Uh, so anyway, yeah. Put in the comments what uh, what we thought what your weirdest fight experience was, whether it was you in a fight or your friend being in a fight. It's pretty interesting. But then it also goes back to the fact of bullying and it was a weird day full of laughter. And it's funny because one of the guys kept getting mad because my friend Salvador would just laugh at like everything. He's like, you think this is funny? He raped a girl. And he was like, he didn't rape a girl. All he did was like kiss her. And she was like, oh no, I don't want to be kissed. And then he was like, okay. Let's start with exactly that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Franklin, come on. Go, 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 go. Oh, yeah. Fall. 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 Can I finish this mission? Okay. Where's the bar? Yeah, Mar. Where are you at, buddy? Hey, there's the LD. Hey, Lamar, it's me. We getting out of here, dog. Oh, fancy seeing you here, motherfucker. Yeah. Huge coincidence, huh? Come on, man. You right? Come on, guys. Why is he always in so much trouble? He always has so many gunfights caused. We go out this way, we'll have some cover from Michael's gun. We'll take Lamar, but we'll leave you the weed. <laughs> Michael's not the one that smokes weed, it's Jimmy. Then, guys. I can't believe your ass ain't got popped yet. Believe it and be happy, homie. The day ain't done. Oh, they're gunning for me. Ah, oh, crap. That was bad. They're in the trees. There's Charlie in the bushes. There's Charlie in the bushes and Charlie in the trees. Oh no, I don't care. You two, go, 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 go. Hey T, you got to tell the people up at the strip club that your boy Long Dick drank for free. You heard? Come on, Lamar. Let's get out of here. Shit, homie. You alright? I'm sprayed, homie. This has got to jump on me, though. How did they get you to come all the way out here? Man, motherfucker. I ain't finna let a little drive stand in the way of a money-making opportunity. Or a get killed opportunity. Man, you always a pessimist. Nah, nigga. Why would you trust the boss? 
Because in reality, from all the fools crap. wanna clap your ass. You represent hey, Rose Street, dog? but you deal with the car. I peeped out that wood place when we was up this way on that Devin Weston car lift, which I still ain't been paid for, incidentally. All secluded and shit. Stretch hit me up, I'm like, yeah, that's the perfect place to buy Kush by the business. Nigga, perfect place to clap some fool you beefing with. Man, I ain't even know at the time. I just thought we was gonna parlay. Parlay? Nigga, please. Every time you leave the house, fools try to clap you. Every meet you yep. set up. Homies there for the express purpose of clapping your ass. Man, you show? Sure? Cause I'm sure there's been a few times but... No. I'm completely 100% sure. Oh, that's Every cool. Well, you're in the tunnel, the whether you thing has drug, like static. Selling drugs or discussing drugs. Mounds chilly. Talking about the weather or whatever. Man, these streets is hard, dog. The chillest the mountain hood you talking about. Stuff. Maybe oh, crap. Oh, crap. Well, we're probably dead. Since you've been uh, better than yourself, sitting in that house on the hill, looking down on the animals in South Central and shit. Man, you know it ain't like that. Do I, my nigga? Because that's the way it looked to me. Do I? I'm making the best out of what I'm giving. My you know what I'm talking about? I ain't in some type of Have you guys ever watched program. The Brindox? The only mentor I got. Funny show. Yeah, we gon' do really something racist. about that, dawg. Trust me. Pretty, uh, yeah, I ain't got people pretty teaching me that show, white collar that. brown shit. Ain't shit changed for me. If you haven't watched you it, watch helped. it. It's on Adult Swim. What the fuck you called it? I was close. Me, Michael, Trevor, we all came up here to help. I almost the got unholy fucking trip. Barrage. Ballers beware with these fools rolling together. You jealous of Michael and Trevor? What happened to me and you fucking shit up? Form gangsters, nigga. So I shouldn't have called them, right? Man, I was doing that. Everything in my power to make sure you wasn't clap. I can make sure I ain't clap. Clearly you can't. Next Obviously time, not. Don't come. And hey, matter of fact, if you do come, don't bring them dudes. Man, look, let's not talk next time. Next time, don't get your ass in the situation, all right? It's the yeah. hood, Frank. That's what happens in the hood. No, the fuck it don't. Not for everyone. I'm one of them dudes that it happens to. Man, you gonna tell me what was going on back there? Hood shit, homie. That's the shit that's different from the country club shit your overpaid ass is presently accustomed to. Man, stress yeah. put us on this shit, man. Man, we gonna get on his ass. Man, fuck that, homie. Look like I give a shit. Nigga, I give a shit. Stress do what he do. Niggas want me dead, be dead themselves. I ain't gonna overreact to shit. Overreact? Man, that nigga Stress tried to get you killed, nigga. Nigga, that's the hood. I'm still here, ain't I? Just. You show Stress new. You're here because of me, me, Lamar. Yeah, nigga Stress knew. Cool. Everybody knew. Oh, stress. crap. Stress knew. Tanisha knew Stress knew, and she don't even come around the fucking hood no more. Damn, that nigga Stress janky like that? Man, you don't see this? Man, Stress been screwing us from the start. Like from back in the day? From like the other day, dawg. Since after we went to the recycling place and D and them ballers try to take us yeah. down. But Stretch put in the work on D. Yeah, man. I always so forget that we in these games, all of this stuff practically happens like in the course of a week. Alright, alright, but tell me this something. though. If Stretch was fucking with your boy LD, why he set us up with the deal for the brick in the first place? He go off and make peace with the ballers, come back, and then put us on the lick on Grove Street. Man, you remember Grove Street? That brick was drywall. Ripping us off was probably Stretch's ideal anyway. Damn, you think yeah. so? It makes sense, don't it? Man, I ain't knowing, man, maybe. Man, Stretch got in with the ballers when he was inside. Played us as marks, dog, but a bunch of them got booked. So now they yeah, gotta marks. come back at me. I don't even know what a so mark is. I've been hearing that word a lot more and lately, though. Save the day. Like, yeah, in real man, life. It wouldn't even be the same if your boy LD Weird. wasn't out here getting in the shit. And FC wasn't getting him out of it. You know what I'm talking about? Man, I don't know. Man, shit was fun, nigga. Don't tell me you didn't no, enjoy scrapping it? like we did back in the day. It ain't back in the day no more, dog. But it felt like it was. Okay, fool. It was fun saving your useless ass one more fucking time. There you go. That wasn't too hard. That's the last time though, Lamar, right? Came in. You was like, shit, shit, shit. Hey, shit, man. Oh, bullshit, nigga. I need this car. It looks faster than the truck. <laughs> you better check them draws, homie. You probably shit it yourself. Fuck you, man. I don't care if I die. It's a compliment if they send an army after a nigga. They only send like two of the little homies to get you. Nigga, you didn't look like they was paying you no compliment, nigga. Must have just yeah. caught a glimpse of yours. Nigga, you think I'm some angel come to take your ass somewhere you never going to. You pray to your white man God, homie. I'm going to the Great Plain Beyond where the buffalo keep on roaming and the little squall bitches want me to nut on their face all day. Bitch, please. The hell?
Okay, let's not get caught in the fence. Whoa! Oh, holy crap! That was awesome. Who doesn't love some rampant commercialism? Don't go away. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Sorry about that. Sorry, done. Cut it. Selling your forty thousand square foot mansion at Windsor Real Estate. Of course not. We are the home of super prestigious real estate in Los Santos. Our experienced and knowledgeable okay. professionals work okay. hard. We look up some mansions on the internet, get the keys. Oh crap. No fucking sick. Shooka dooka dooka. Come on, Lamar, let's take you home. Only 0.7 more miles. Oh, how do you not like this music? Do you like this music? Put it in the comments. Put everything that you thought about in the comments. So I guess, I guess what we learned is, nigga don't think it ain't no fun to be half fucking with the homies, nigga. You feel me, my nigga? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess you can look at it like that. Hey, but yeah. on some real shit, my nigga, uh, you know your nigga out here doing BAD, man. Why don't you slide me a few dollars or something? You know what I'm talking about? It's hard out here in the set. Oh, shit, my nigga, that's nothing. Shit, yeah, nigga, I know you done went all Illuminati and shit, you know what I'm saying, leaving the street niggas in the back, but damn, man, uh, way to keep a nigga down, my nigga, I mean. Thank you. I guess just payment for all the work a nigga put in for you getting them cars and shit. You know what I'm talking about? Give a nigga just enough money to get him a little 40 ounce in the bucket of chicken on the way to the pole house, huh? Man, don't be like that, dog. Cause number one, I never got paid for them motherfucking cars. Number two, I saved yeah. your motherfucking ass. No matter how many times you and that tiny motherfucking brain of yours to try to get us killed, I saved you, dog. Man, you supposed to, my nigga? I thought we was homies for life. Me too, but I thought we was trying to get out of this bullshit. You live in a fantasy, homie. The best thing you can hope for is a big turn off of your motherfucking funeral. Nigga, ain't nobody oh. coming to your funeral. What? Man, what about all the motherfucking times I saved your life, homie? What about that? Oh, thank you, homie. Thanks for leaving your nigga in the backfield. You know what, my nigga? If your ass can just act civilized, my nigga. you would get some work. But instead, you want to be this game-banging, mad-dogging asshole. Oh, my bad, Mr. Gold Card. Excuse me, sir. Thank you for helping out a post street nigga like me, sir. You can go now, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nigga, who you think I am, nigga? Oh, fuck you, Lamar. <laughs> nah, fuck you, F, nigga. I thought we was homies, nigga. But that's some shit that just got past you, my nigga. You know what, dawg? If something good comes up, I hit my dude, man. Chill out, all right? Yeah, whatever, nigga. You just hit me when you find out what the true concept of friendship is, nigga. We came from the sandbox together. I know that. I got you, dog. If some good come up, I got you. I wonder how many times they say the word nigga in this game. So anyway, thanks for watching. I'm going to trip over this fire hydrant now. And boom. So thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos like this or see any videos that put out in the future, be sure to subscribe. Oh, thanks for watching. Goodbye.